Hi, my name is Chuck Devanji, and I am going to be your instructor for your instructor for this uh, Math 142 course that you're taking online. And I just want to take just a couple minutes, show you a little bit around WAMAP, how to use it, um, kind of expectations for the course, that sorts of thing. So um, this is what it'll look like when you log in. Right now, um, it's in student view, and this is the view that you'll see. Um, so you can see that we have announcements, week one, resources, week two. Um, if I click over on instructor view, you, you'll see that like I have a every week in here already. Um, they're, they're hidden. They'll pop out. So weeks will, will come out the Wednesday before the actual week starts. So you can always uh, start early and take a look. So this first part announcements, uh, check here all the time. You've probably already taken a little look at this uh, when you logged in. So um, they'll all, they'll usually be something weekly here check it often uh, there'll be tips about how the week's gonna go that sort of thing getting into the actual week you've probably already done this as well because you were watching this video um, you can click on the week getting started tells you what to do um, and you're already watching this video right here and uh, if you'll notice in week one there's also some lectures 6.1 6.2 these lectures and then there's quizzes and forums too I'll talk about those here in a little bit. So this resources section, this is where the syllabus and the calendar is and some other things as well. So let's take a quick peek at the syllabus. You may have already done this as well. A uh, bunch of information about the course. This is my, my Wacom email messaging me um, here through messages. I'll talk about that too in a little bit. Uh, is a good way to get a hold of me. I, I have this open all day, checking just checking on it. Um, so let's go ahead and scoot on through here, textbook, platform, all that sort of stuff. A couple of important dates to know, um, when our midterm and our final are. These are face-to-face -face at, at Wacom. If these dates, uh, if you have a con maybe a conflict with another class or something like that, um, if the dates don't work for you, let me know as soon as you can. We can make arrangements to, uh, to work it out. Sometimes people take this course and they're, they're not near Wacom as well. We can arrange for a proctored course for you as well. Uh, sorry, proctored assessment for you as well. So there's the grading scale. Here is uh, the categories that will be graded on and what percentage of the grade each of those are. So um, you, can, you can read them. Um, the homework's not graded. Um, I'm not going to look at if you're doing the assignments or not. Um, it's a good idea to do them. Uh, the midterm and the final, like I said, those are face-to-face. -face. Have some dates for those. Uh, make sure you can make it or arranged. Uh, so the other two pieces, this will be more, more of the day-to-day -day stuff. Practice quizzes and forms together make 15% of your grade. Um, practice quizzes, they're not timed. And you get uh, multiple attempts, up to four attempts on each question. Um, and it's really good practice to get you ready for the time quiz as well. Uh, practice quizzes should be completed, and this is true of everything, by 11.59 p.m. on their due date. Um, they're not available after that time unless you choose to use a late pass. Time quizzes are a lot like the practice quizzes. You have two hours to do them. Um, they're the same length as the practice quiz from that week, and they're 20% um, of the grade. Same thing, 11.59. A couple of important notes to look at here, especially round to three decimal places, unless it says otherwise. That's just a good assumption uh, to make. And sometimes in the in the time quizzes, the question will, um, you'll, you'll get an answer, you're pretty sure it's right and it tells you you're wrong. Sometimes there's something weird in the rounding, just set, just message me, let me know. I, I sometimes have to, you know, just recorrect it and give people points for it. Not a problem at all. I'll check them. And I'll check your quizzes after you take them as well, after the due date. So um, I'll do a little feedback on those. So be checking on them uh, for the feedback that I've given. Forums, forums are just about weekly. Uh, check for those as well, and I'll talk about how to post on those. Do, 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 zoom in throughout the stuff that you can read. Um, campus resources, the Math Center is a great tool. If you don't know our Math Center, you've already paid for it with your tuition. Go in there and get some, some help if you like. It's a, it's a, people go there, they have like their favorite uh, tutor that they work with, it's a great deal. I'm going to check my notes here real quick, make sure I'm talking about what I need to talk about. Yeah, there's a syllabus. So let's talk about the calendar. Um, really a good idea to print this out and take a look at what's going on. Um, 
first day, you should be doing this right now, the day one task, watching this video, etc. cetera. Um, anything that's italicized as a due date, you can always do it earlier. Um, so you have a form due on Thursday, you have uh, practice quiz one A due on Friday. And, uh, and then the 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, those are the, the lectures to watch. So this week, this first week, 6.1 and 6.2, if I go back to week one, there they are, 6.1 and 6.2. So I recommend, uh, you know, if you're following the schedule, this is the latest you should be doing these. This is, uh, you, could, you can always do them earlier, watch them earlier. Um, and then after you watch the lecture, there'll be an assignment uh, in here as well. So if I click on this, 6.1, there's the lecture. Here's the homework that I think you should be doing out of the book, good practice problems. And there's additional videos with it as well uh, for 6.1. 6.2, same thing. There's the lecture, a video just like this uh, without my little face down here in the corner. And then, uh, would it be there? I don't know, maybe it's over here. I think it's over here. Um, and then the homework to do with it. And as you can see, we have forms just about every week. Uh, you, I need you to post in the form. I also need you to do the response to each form as well. And it shows when those are due. There are no late passes allowed on forums, just on, just on practice quizzes and time quizzes. You can see our midterms here and where it's at. You can see our finals here and where it's at. Again, just to stay on course, uh, it's a really good idea to print this and stay, stay on top of it. Uh, if you wanted to message me, over here, messages, you can uh, send a new message, pick who you want to send it to, me, um, subject, blah, 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 that sort of thing. Uh, it's great on, on our forums and, and as well as on our messaging. This right here, add new math, you can actually enter in like, um, something like this and it'll format it so it's actually like a math problem. And if I put that 3x in parentheses, it'll make it like that. So um, there's a part in the in the uh, in the resources that tells you how to how to type in things like this. Use the messages to get a hold of me. So back in resources, typing math symbols in WAMAP. Um, this is like if I want to do x squared, how do I how do I type it in here? Lots of ways to type these things. In. Take a good look at this part as well. Uh, last thing to think about for a week, there's always a section that's called quizzes and forums as well. So if I open up that quizzes and forums, um, you can see we have our first forum uh, due on Thursday, replies due by Monday, um, tells you what to do. And then you can just click on it and go ahead and, and enter your forum. Practice quizzes here as well. This is due uh, due on Friday. Click on it to start it, that sort of thing. I'm going to look at week two just to see what it looks like when I open it up. Notice it has my sections that I'm going to um, have lectures and assignments on. Five one, five two, six three, and uh, what homework to do with each of those. And then if I look at quizzes and forums. They don't pop up yet because they aren't available for you yet. But if I look at the instructor version of it, um, you can see the week two forum. Um, you'll have to post on it. You have a practice quiz and you have a time quiz that's uh, that are uh, due for each of those. So that is the basic structure of it. Go ahead and get started in on week one. Uh, get done what you can. Message me if you have any questions anytime. I'm happy to help. Uh, also use those forums, uh, people posting in that forum. It's a great way to learn how to do something is to give someone else some advice, answer someone else's question. I'll be on the forums as well. Answer, I'll answer a lot of questions too. Um, if you have a, a specific math question, you know, like about a problem that we're working on or something like that, post it in the forum. I'll answer it there. And then other people can benefit from the question as well. All right. Hey, like I said, message me anytime. Let me know what questions you have and uh, good luck for this course. I'm looking forward to working with you.